Hello and welcome to Dervish Moose Guitars. I'm Mark. This is the Boss Katana MK2. The question we're answering today is, do I buy the 50 or do I buy the 100 watt? We have Crazy Cow, we have our coffee, so let's find out. Okay, so the question we are answering today is what's the difference? What should I know before I buy between the Boss Katana Mark II 50 and the Boss Katana Mark II 100? Well, just in the name alone, you can see that there's 50 watts missing. Does that 50 watts make a difference? Well, it depends. There are many videos. It depends on what you're going to do with it. There are many videos online, so you don't need to take my word for it, of the main question of will a 50 watt get over a drummer, even a loud drummer, if you're doing a small gig. The general consensus is even in the 25 watt mode, about 50% of the power of the volume knob at 12 o'clock will get roughly get over even a loud drummer in a small venue. If you're playing a very large venue or if you have amplified drummer and you don't have any PA system backup, then maybe the 100 watt is for you. So beyond the wattage, there's a few other differences between a 50 and 100. Let's turn this bad boy around and look at the back. One of the first things you may notice on the back is the lack of an effects loop. The effects loop is really nice for being able to put a distortion pedal or other pedal after the built-in pedals in the amp. The other time it's really handy is if you're using a looper pedal. The looper pedal in some cases will go in front of the amp. That's good for your first loop. Let's say you're laying down an acoustic guitar track or just a rhythm track. The second track, though, may be a distortion track. The problem with having a looper in front of the guitar is that first rhythm track also gets the same distortion. So that's why sticking it in after your internal distortion, your internal pedals, is a really good idea. That way you have a clean rhythm track out and you can still play other distorted or uh, crunch tones over top of that within the, the loop. Another difference between the 50 and 100 is the lack, the 50 has a lack of the GAFC pedal. The GAFC pedal is the larger pedal where you can control a lot more of the amp from that. The 50 only supports the dual latching switches. I'll have a link in the description below of that. The other thing that the 50 does not have is it technically does not have a live out. Uh, and that would be something you'd send to the PA. It does have an, a headphones record out, but that does not allow you to use it as a monitor on stage. So, and that, I believe that mutes the internal speaker. So let's take a look at few, a few of the other features on the top panel. So the first thing is the wattage, the power control. The 100, of course, has one extra setting. That's the 100 watt, the full power. The tone settings, there is only two channels on the 50 and the channels are kind of preset um, collections of the settings, kind of similar to an, a tube amp having more than one channel. This emulates that two channel. The 100 has a four channel. The other two things that are missing is a presence knob where you can turn the presence up and down and the cab resonance selector. You can select modern, vintage, or I believe flat is the third one. Anyway, those two settings are available in the Tone Studio software, and I'll have a picture of that right here. The last feature we're going to look at today that's a difference between the 50 and 100 is the Stereo Expand feature. The Katana 100 has a expand output. 
and allows you to plug it into an expand input. And what this allows for is this allows for stereo effects. If you have a ping pong effect or a oscillating reverb, let's say that went from speaker to speaker, uh, that allows you to do this kind of rather advanced uh, amp splitting or stereo splitting effect uh, for you know no more than the cost of two katanas and a patch cable that runs between them. So it looks like the 50 can receive that, but the 50 cannot act as a head. It, the head is the sort of piece that sits there and sends the signal out and splits, does the, the processing of the stereo and then sends the left channel and then the right channel to its own internal system. So that is an interesting feature. I don't think I'll ever use it. So which amp is right for you? The Boss Katana Mark II 50 watt or the 100 watt? Well, this is kind of a personal choice. If you play larger venues or just simply want the higher power, or if you want the effects loop, definitely go with the 100. I went with the 50 because I have other options for loops and I probably will never play a venue that large. Uh, I have no need for the stereo effects. So I went with the 50 and I'm very happy with it. It is an extremely loud amp for being 50 watts. So this is Mark from Dervish Moose Guitars in Partyville, Wisconsin, signing off.